Hey, I'm Dog. Welcome back to Minecraft Through the Night, uh, Season 3 in a world called Alice. Hmm. I was just thinking to myself, uh, good morning, sun. Namaste. I always get to see the sunshine. I heard a skeleton. I'm looking for the skeleton remains. Uh... I guess it doesn't matter too much. Do I have plenty of string? Let's make sure I do. Cactus. There's another skeleton. Oh. Huh. Open like this. We might get some mobs in here. That's interesting. Okay, I want to make the um, what do you call them? The, the uh, pattern. <clears throat> I don't know where I want them. But I need, uh, wood, right? Okay, let me get wood. I'm gonna need a box, right? Get sticks, I need sticks. chest, right? I need... Is this how you make a pattern? It's the sticks. Like there. Okay. Make... Okay, a table. Something with a crafting table. Tool station. I need a log. A log. Builder. There's one more thing that I need. Oh, I didn't know, huh, the different kind of wood makes it change. Pattern chest, stencil table, wait a minute, tool station, stencil, oh, uh, uh, chest, that's what I need, right? Yeah. And then that is tool station plus three seared brick. Those are the three seared brick and four blocks of iron. I think I want to go ahead and get that. Four, that's 36, right? And, right? What's the, <clears throat> what do I need? One, two, that, and then three seared bricks, okay. 
-hmm. I just read a um, three to twelve. Earlier in the semester, I was talking with some colleagues about how we I struck up a conversation with my colleagues in the adjunct office uh, at UCO, and we talked about how we're talking about how we didn't get much writing done anymore because we were so busy working on students' writing. <clears throat> And I suggested, I <coughs> started talking about we should <coughs> have a little workshop for ourselves, <coughs> a little writer's workshop. And uh, we we did that. We, we came up, we started a writer's workshop for ourselves. Um, and I was just reading one of my colleagues' short stories is about uh, one of the uh, ideas that runs through it is about something called family familial insomnia or uh, FFI and um, I read it right after um, uh, having to wake up early this morning I woke up early I was so I couldn't sleep And um, okay, that's how we make stencils. And that's the pattern chest. Part builder. I think this is how things go together. And tool forge. Okay, fantastic. Now we can make the best tools, including the the hammer. Oh, I love the hammer. Now I think I can make it out of stone, right? <clears throat> Just plain stone, but it's got to be clean stone, right? Not cobble, I think. <clears throat> and I need to make the <clears throat> patterns, right? <clears throat> okay, fantastic. Well, that's good work for day one. Wow, I really want these torches off the ground. Stone. Isn't that what I'm looking for? Oh, and I got another book. Tinker's Weaponry by Sheriff Bonanna. Okay, Mighty Smelting Materials and You. Let's put this these books up. Let's put the books up. Uh. So we now have what, like all four of the Tinker tools, right? Materials and U Volume 1 and Volume 2. Tinker's Weaponry and Mighty Smelting. Thrule Magon. Good, good, good. Good. It's pretty ironic. I, I was just reading up on um, my co one of my colleagues wrote this story about FFI, and I was just. just wondering to myself, why am I having so much trouble sleeping this year or these past two years? Um, it's really, you should look that up on Wiki, Wikipedia, FFI. Um, uh, people have a hard time, it's like they lose the ability to sleep and they die. Um, can I make a pattern out of cobble? Mm. I don't have a trouble. I don't have trouble sleeping. I just have trouble sleeping at night. I can sleep during the day, man, like all day long. Like all day long, I can sleep during the day. I just have a hard time sleeping at night. <clears throat> I could make. I've got lots of pumpkins, right? Lots of jack. I've got jack o' lanterns, right? I could put those in the ground. <clears throat> Get rid of these torches. Kind of like to have some kind of a <clears throat> pattern with the jack o' lanterns, though.
I don't remember what I was growing here. Something that I wanted to grow. I think I was growing a mixture of potatoes and carrots and wheat there. And then I created these long rows to have a specific row, you know, for them. I guess I could just grow wheat, you know. Maybe someday we'll need a lot of wheat in a hurry. Oh, there's some seeds. Let's go plant those seeds right quick. Before it gets too dark, right? Should probably harvest some more of those rubber trees too. Okay, let's go run in here and see through the Minecraft night, night one, right? This is night one. Ah, sleep and have a view of the outside. Beautiful. Man, just like I'd like in real life. Beautiful. But in real life, I'd like to have an east-facing, big east-facing window so the sun can wake me up. Oh, yeah. That'd be beautiful. I The only time in my life that I remember having an east-facing window, uh, I was in graduate school at Purdue University. Uh, and um, I better be looking for creepers. Uh, and... Um, my dorm room had a had an east facing window very high high up on the wall and that early morning sunlight I slept so well at Purdue and I woke up so rested uh, and that was only that was like one summer one month a summer for three summers so for one month so for a combined total of three months of my life, I had the ideal dorm room for waking up early. It seems like all the rest of my life, all my my um, bedrooms have faced, have had north-facing windows. My current bedroom, north-facing window. Uh, north and west, no less. Don't know when I'm going to need supplies, so come here, spider. And levels. I need levels. Oh, there's some clay right there. Nice. Just right there on the sand, even. How did I totally... How did I miss that? Huh. Went right around to the north. While waiting for those leaves to de on maybe there's some more just want to check and see if there's more clay there's some right under huh so there's clay really close to the base all right no that was just deeper water okay well i'll leave that clay in case i need it in future i don't Necessarily think I need it right now, though. There's some zombie flesh just lying on the ground. <clears throat> this writing workshop, I'm uh, the <clears throat> first two workshops, <coughs> after the first workshop, I was inspired to come home and I wrote for five hours straight and I wrote a story, a new story, and um, I was really happy with it and got some good feedback on it. I mean, it's it needs work, but I got some good feedback on it from my two colleagues who joined me in the workshops, and after the second uh, meeting I came home and worked on a started a new story uh, another new story and uh, it's been it, it was very motivating very 
I started to say incentivizing, but there it really wasn't like there's not like there's an incentive beyond the pure joy of creating a story, which is a great incentive of its own. But it, it was really a motivating experience for me. I uh, I'm not like motivated like that now, though. I just I don't know where I'm going to go with my next story. I uh, kind of lost with it, but kind of just kind of lost in you know. It's not much. It really seems worthwhile at this point. <clears throat> Get up, go to class, grade the papers. I that's one thing I did when I got up early this morning. I graded my, or um, my students have a completion grade to write a one-page response to our weekly readings, and then we use that for uh, uh, class discussions. And um, There we go. And um, it's just a completion grade, though. It's not really grading per se. So um, if they're at the first few weeks, the first month or so, I try to respond, or I do respond to every single um, student's. Every everything they write you know, on a weekly basis, and that gives us a good uh, sort of a fun uh, foundation, a fundamental way to um, gives them a better sense of what I expect in their bigger assignments, their essays, I guess, uh, and what I what I expect to see from their writing, their college academic writing. Um, man, that didn't give us too many. Oh, oh, yes, it did. I started to say that it didn't give us drop too many seeds, but. Um, yeah, I've got had another stack. Okay, so we're good. Uh, and I don't really uh, do that same uh, after the first month or so. I only respond if the um, essays are, if the, if the one page responses are really, really good or really, really bad. Um, but if they're just kind of normal, you know, then I just check mark and move on. Oops. I'm not saying that's a good, necessarily the best way to do it, but it's just, that's how I, that's how, that's how I run a class. And anyway, I was up this morning, um, all that to, as a qualification because I was saying, I was up this morning grading papers. Well, I wasn't really grading, I was reading through the, this week's responses. Mm. One nice advantage of insomnia is that, um, uh, you can get some early morning work done, you know. Uh, everything's quiet, the world's quiet, the house is quiet, the dog is quiet, uh, emails quiet, everything's quiet, you know. The quiet hours. Okay, well that's uh, I guess an impromptu harvesting of the garden there. One of the things that uh, the thing we read most recently was uh, a 1984 essay by Scott Russell Sanders called "The Men We Carry in Our Minds," and of course my students don't know these writers like I know them. I've lived with them. You know, I've assigned many works, and I've kind of lived with these writers. Uh, in my mind, the writers we carry in our minds, right? I've lived with these writers for uh, years, and uh, they don't know, like Scott Russell Sanders, the way I do from, from my reading of his work. Uh, and so it's always really, it's a good sanity check for me to hear what they have to say. And it's nice when they connect, uh, but it's good to know as well when they don't connect, when something strikes them as being archaic and whatnot. I had several students write that it just totally misinterpret Sanders' piece 
but then again I had some students who um, really enjoyed it and understood it well a good mix I guess this time around oh yeah we're gonna make um, we're gonna get some uh, I'll work on our flow here let's see um, Okay, I need more of this, right? Because I need more patterns, right? So, pattern. Pattern. Oh, uh, can I just, will this, no, I can't just click. Oh, can I? Yes, I can. I can. No, I can't. Let's make about um, that. And now we can make. Yeah, uh, 32 patterns, sure, 32 patterns, that's that's plenty, right? That's more than enough, right? It's plenty gracious, gracious plenty, something like that. All right, well, let's go see if we can make a stone <coughs> hammer. Day two. Stone hammer. Um, so put a boop and boop. No, I don't want a wide board pattern. I want a boop. Boop. So we've got a plate pattern. Mm. Oh yeah, that's right. I can make um, that's right. I can just make as many of these as I need, right? Except, oh, yeah, yeah, I need these, right? No matter what I choose to do, I need these. That's a side. I'm pretty sure I don't need a side. There's the big old hammerhead. And the excavator. Oh, yeah. And then the axe thing, the broad axe. Nice. And then we've got that. So we've got 12. Oh, that's full dark. Full metal dark. Alchemy. Something. Oh, man. Oh, God. Jelly Buzz told me I need to watch Full Metal Alchemist. Just even saying that, Full Metal Alchemy made me think of Jelly Buzz. And... Alchemy, full, what is it called? Full, you know what I'm saying. Some of you do. <laughs> Not full metal alchemy, what do you call it? The two brothers. <laughs> anyway. Alchemist, I can't remember. Whoa. What, what? I didn't borrow you. Good morning, Namaste. This is day three. Let's put pattern chests. Let's put these patterns in the pattern chest so that they are accessible, right? And then this pulls them automatically, right? Okay. Or <laughs> something, yeah. Does that work? It does. That gives us a hammerhead. <clears throat> that and um, this I think and tool rod stone tool rod and a tough rod okay and then I think the small Let's go ahead and make, uh, it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and make these, what do you call them, the, the, these pieces, 
Because we got to pour a molding around them somehow, don't we? Something like that. Got the axe. What about the hammer? The sides. Oh, I don't have enough. <laughs> Need eight? Wow, material cost eight. Okay. Okay, pattern chest. Uh, what do I need here? <laughs> well, that's why I want to use these up. Tinker achievement. Nice. Okay. Hey, that's something. We got a hammer. Yes. <clears throat> It'll be a great thing to attack this wall with, right? Ha oh, ha ha. Nice. Of course, the beautiful thing with the stone hammer here is that um, I can come over here and like uh, put it here and here and repair it with cobble. With cobble. Can you believe that? Isn't that amazing? Day of day three. I think we'll close. I think we'll have three days today. This will be our. This will be it for the. This will be it. I need to put. Uh, I need a chest, right? So I need another chest, right? Because I want to put these. Take a chest and just a regular chest. We'll put it over here next to the tool forge and we'll put our extra patterns, some stone, the stone tool parts, and the shards. We'll put them there. You know, I need to go ahead and make, actually, give me the patterns and that stuff. I need to go ahead and make the hammer parts too. Right. I don't need the patterns though. <clears throat> oh, we're going to make the scythe head. So let's have the scythe head. Let's have the hammer head. And let's have the pat large plate head. And I need the tough rod. So I need more stone, right? <clears throat> Stone. Oh, we could probably just leave stone here, maybe. Tough one. Yeah, that. Boop. Okay. I don't think I need the bindings or anything. Boop, boop, boop. And then boop. Blank patterns there. I don't think I need the blank patterns for anything, but but I might. Um, what's the out of excavator? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Now I want. I've got two things I want to do. <clears throat> Lava. 
I looked into finding a pump to fill up the drum, but the the closest mm. I'm gonna need the endothermic pump. That's the only thing I've got in this um, pack, this mod pack. So instead of going to pump lava right now, what I thought I would do. That's right, we've got lava here in the base, don't we? Uh, maybe some lava under the obsidian floor, right? Yeah. Nether wart. Do I have, I don't have nether wart. Hmm, okay, so I found the soul sand, but not the nether one. I want to make a generator, survivalist generator. Is that right? Is that what you call it? Survivalist? So I need three cobble, two iron, two redstone, a furnace, and a piston. One, two, three cobble. Two redstone, two iron, one more iron, one more redstone. I need, how do you make a piston? One, two, three, four, or three. And wood. Remember how much wood. There's a piston. I need a furnace. Do I have one? I don't. Okay, I can make one. There's a furnace. What am I missing? Oh, three, three, three cobble. I thought I had that. I used them on my piston. There we go. All right, survivalist generator. Um, this is our first energy solution. Let's put this here. And let's put, <clears throat> let's power it with what? <clears throat> Um, coal. Let's, let's put some coal in it and see what happens. It's working. It's not really creating any power. Is the power going to here? Yes, yes. Pulverizer is getting some power. Oh, that is so wonderful. Um, pulverizer, right? Um, gold. Copper, tin. Aluminum. Oh, yes, we can do all this. We can put all, we can just dump it in, right? Pump. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's going to be slow though. It's going to be slow, so it's a good thing to do while we're just, just casualing around, casualing around here. Make sure this is working. Okay, we should have something here. We do. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to leave you here. I'm going to try to get some more uh, sleep and um, on this daylight savings time day. Hope this daylight savings time. You know, daylight savings time started off at like at six months and expanded to seven months and then eight months. People talk about getting rid of it, but it just keeps getting more and more. Apparently, the Farm Bureau resisted it mightily, but the golf, 
the golf lobby wanted daylight savings time. <laughs> the golf of all the things driving our nation. Golf. I'll see you guys next time for Minecraft through the night, season three in the world called Alice. Alice in the Looking Glass. I'll see you again sometime.